on 95.7 The Game. All right, now Steve Kerr after Game 4 where the Warriors lost 104-101 and and fall behind to the L.A. Lakers 3-1 in its best of seven Western Conference semifinal. Um, the Quest for Five, or should we say the Quest to Stay Alive? I don't know. The Quest for Five brought to you by the Alameda PD, now offering a $75,000 hiring incentive. Our team is your future. Go to alamedapolice.org to apply today. Uh, we're going to take the rest of these calls here. What went wrong in game four? What's your big takeaway in game number four? Alan, I'll let you get a crack at it. What's your biggest takeaway from game number four last night? Hmm. My biggest takeaway from game number four is that the Lakers don't have to play as perfect as the Warriors to win. Mm. And that is why the whole thing scares me. Because the Warriors controlled that game the same way they controlled most of game one. And the Lakers just find guys. And until they, until they cool off, and I'll give you one more, Bonte, and I hate to say it. Is this what we saw from Steph Curry? Was it a little reminiscent of when LeBron didn't have any help? Mm. Is it just a little? He did everything, but you just, somebody help him. <laughs> somebody help him. And he couldn't have it. So now the, the stats coming out here, ESPN stats and info. Steph Curry's now on 12, over 12 in his playoff career on potential go-ahead shots. In the final 45 seconds of the fourth quarter at overtime, I kind of hate the stat, but no, it is what it is. In game four on Tuesday, he missed multiple shots in a game, such shots in a game for the first time in his playoff career. Cannot hit the go-ahead jumper, cannot hit the, the shot to put him over the top, but I, it's tough for me to come down Curry's road when I see that effort on the floor. He gave you everything he had, literally did on both ends of the floor. He gave you a triple-double. He rebounded. He dropped dimes. He got teammates involved. Curry didn't have his three-point shot working, so he figured out another way to get involved. He got to the cup. I, I, it's tough for me to come down his road, man. It's tough for me. He came out there and played his ass off. Yeah. And, and I would assume in majority of those situations, he did the same thing, right? Yep. I, I would assume in most of those situations, they're not even in that position without Steph Curry, but that's not how it gets remembered, nope. right? And, and all the haters are going to run with this stat and do what they want. But at the, at, the, at the end of the day, you like who you like and you, you believe in who you believe in as a player. It right. doesn't take anything away from Steph Curry to me. But yeah, Bonte, every time we're in this situation, I pray that he makes one of these shots to right. stop hearing about this stat. And it just hasn't happened, unfortunately. Unfortunately. Needed one yesterday over Anthony Davis. And a lot of people got flashbacks of the 2016 NBA Finals. Game 7 against Kevin Love when mm. Steph Curry with one knee couldn't get past Kevin Love. Well, he had two knees yesterday, and Anthony Davis played it as well as you can on both shot contests. Anthony Davis has been unbelievable in the series. He's been the best player in the series. Not LeBron James, not Stephen Curry, not Klay Thompson, not Draymond Green. And it's been Anthony Davis who has set the tone for the L.A. Lakers. He's a difference maker, man, and he's been big in this series on the defensive end. All right, let's get to the lines here, Alan, because my big takeaway – I, I'll get to my big takeaway. I, I've got a lot of thoughts right now. I'm so damn down on this team right now. <laughs> I had that loss last night. Oh, yeah, yeah. If there was ever a time to use a sick day, today was it, and I didn't do it. Damn it, I couldn't leave you hanging. 